very rare do we come across men these days that have present. Mm -hmm. And when I, it's not just, it's not a sense of fear. This is what I learned from my dad. When my dad was around and he had that presence, it's like, you know what? I'm totally safe. Like there's nothing in the world that can harm me and harm my mom or harm my brother or whatever it is when he, you know, when he was in the room, for example, when he was sober, right? Because he just had that presence. That's just who he was. And I, and I just don't sense that in very many men these days. Mm. And that's one of the things in, in terms of working with men that I think we've lost, right? And I think you and I could talk about this for forever because we both work with men is that there's such pressure on men these days to not be strong men. Yeah. Yeah. And let's get into that. I mean, I think that's a topic we haven't talked about a lot lately. And you know, it's interesting because I immediately, as you're talking about presence, right? um, Immediately start thinking about people that I know, men that have had that type of presence that everybody picks up on, right? Everybody knows it. And then I think about moments in my life when I didn't have that. Um, and I thought about moments in my life when I caught glimpses of what it was like to be, to have presence. I, I remember specifically, I've never shared this story. Um, uh, and, and mostly because it's like I'm patting myself on the back, but I, I'm going to share it anyway, because it, it makes sense. So let me, be, let me be completely transparent that I would not say that throughout my life that the one thing that people would describe me with is fully present from that powerful state. They would say when you talk to John, he's a really good listener, at least later in life, that would have been the case. Um, but when I was, I was at a Tony Robbins event in my late 20s, right, maybe early 30s, and Tony talks a lot about this, like the way that men can use their positive masculine energy, right? In order to, and how that shows up, not, not to dominate, you know, and walk around and intimidate everybody, but literally like that powerful, purposeful presence that's there where people feel safe, you know, and, uh, and, 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 and so many other ways that we could describe it. But I was feeling that in this moment when I was in a room of, of leadership people at his event, uh, and I stood up to say something and I'll never forget this man there's such a good positive anchor for me i sat back down and this woman goes now that's what a present man sounds like (laughs) and i was like i was like oh damn like i don't remember like what i just did but i need to do that again you know because that was somehow like it resonates and the thing that i recognize and i've learned this in my marriage too is that it's not always what i'm saying it's how i'm saying it right it's that's the energy that you bring to a situation and it's amazing how much our energy or or, uh, said another way that presence can affect a room you know one-to-one one-to-many